All right, so when you come in through the patio, this will be the tap room. Bobby's standing right there. That's basically the middle of the tap room. Tap handles up against the wall or towards the wall, actually about where those materials are. I'll have Bobby stand basically where she'll be bartending from. Hey guys, yep, I know it's been a long time since we did a vlog. I could come up with a bunch of excuses, but I mean, it's just been tough, super busy. We don't have a full team at Skydance yet. So um, right now it's just me basically with a little help from um, Bobby doing some of the administrative stuff. And then, you know, we have some pretty cool investors who um, help out a lot when it comes to you know some brew days and stuff like that but it's just been really busy and i just haven't had the ability to keep the vlog up i mean really it's the it's the editing the time it takes to edit and put it out i guess i kind of got a little burnout on it too for a minute it felt like the, every vlog was exactly the same and i just wasn't happy with it so anyways we're on our way to edmund we're gonna go to the mule and we're going to deliver the very first of the new tap handles, which you just saw a little while ago. And tonight is a pint night at the Mule in Edmond. They're going to have Res Dog on tap. And then we'll deliver the, another tap handle after that. And then I'm going to take you over to the building and we're going to talk about what's going on at the building. So let's go do this. Check it out, new tap handles, boxes full of them. Bam, son, look at that. These are going out starting today. So why don't you guys come with me, we're gonna go deliver the very first one. Actually, we're gonna deliver the first three tap handles today, and I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're at the Mule. We're gonna take them, uh, one of these tap handles for tonight. I just wanted to show you real quick kind of about our tap handles, so the feather, I mean, the feather, the eagle particularly, is one of the most symbolic things, of, especially for my Iowa people. So if you don't know, up in Perkins, we at, on our tribal land, we have an eagle aviary where we rescue eagles. Um, and uh, one of our people, Abraham Lincoln, yeah, that's his name, Abraham Lincoln, one of our tribal members, he, uh, he, he kind of heads up a lot of that stuff up there rescuing the eagles they work with osu they basically if they can be released they release them so the eagle is just super important to our people the eagle feather is super important to really all natives it's used in a lot of our religious ceremonies this is what we came up with the best symbolize <clears throat> um, oklahoma's native american craft brewery so i really like the detail that went into it real really the just to me the the overall way of using the logo, we like it. So uh, what happens is we, we go into these accounts with these tap handles and we'll, we'll give them a, a packet of stickers with these uh, beer names on them. It's got all of our beers. Uh, for instance, like this one has the Fancy Dance sticker on it. They can be removed and then replaced with a different beer if needed. And so, like I said today, the mule's going to have Res Dog. So we're gonna go in here and put a tap handle together for them, so. All right, we're at the collective. We're gonna drop off a couple tap handles. If you didn't know, you can get Fancy Dance and Mosquito Hawk on draft here at the collective. Hey guys, we're over at Chalk here in Chisholm Creek and we're taking them the, one of the new tap handles. They've got Fancy Dance on tap over here. Rod's having one Cheers. himself, so am I. So uh, we've got Grant. How are you doing? Grant's in charge of this little operation over here. And he's got a couple tap handles he's gonna be putting on. And we're working on a pint night. Yep, yep. Tell him about that. Okay, so every Thursday, we team up with a local beer. Uh, so on every Thursday, 
from about 5 to 11 o'clock. We run a special on those local beers. So on the 22nd, we'll be doing uh, the full blood orange New England style. Uh, yeah. Really good beer. Uh, please come out, come check us out. So on that 22nd, we'll team up with Skydance to do, uh, you get a free glassware with any purchase of that beer. So that would entail the fancy dance as well. Uh, so with that, you get $2 off. So our original price, you get $2 off of that on that Thursday. And like I said, please come out, support our local guys, uh, get you a free glass and get you some good beer. All right, there you heard it right there. What time are we starting at again? Uh, five o'clock. Five o'clock. We better see you guys out here. We're gonna file this under the list of surprises that aren't really surprises. But, I mean, in other words, um, expect the unexpected. So, we're not stupid. We know that building a new um, brewery was, there's always gonna be all kinds of hurdles and things the city does to, that kind of becomes a roadblock or whatever. This isn't a big one. But basically, in, in Automobile Alley, um, or in Oklahoma City, you have to be zoned light industrial. And so in the downtown business district where we're at, in order to get the right zoning the way we need it, we got to fill out this special permit application, pay a, I don't know if you can see this or not, $2,700 filing fee. And then we're talking, it's like a four to six week minimum process. So we're gonna get to filling this out, go get all the items that are on this laundry list of things that have to be submitted with it. Try to get this turned in by tomorrow at some point, get the four to six weeks ticking away. But anyways, it shouldn't stick, it shouldn't put us off of our schedule. We have corn shell work going on. Anyways, we'll explain that take you guys out to the building and let's we'll go take a look at it let's go check it out hey guys we're out here at the building and just wanted to kind of show you a little update how we're doing so as you can see behind me here we've got the concrete tore up where the patio is going to be and all the windows and doors are pretty much uh, knocked out of the building to where you know you can kind of see you can sort of see where all that stuff's gonna be so so what I'll do is just kind of show you all the little spaces and then you'll kind of see some uh, renderings of what that spot's going to kind of look like so um, like I was saying here's the the patio space we'll have restaurant space over there some offices here and another another story on top this is where we'll have some openings that goes out to the patios we're debating right now between some glass garage door type thing or some sort of an accordion opening um, situation so um, it'll be pretty cool a way to implement or to kind of bring the the tap room out to the patio so here's what the inside's looking like right now so we'll just basically start on the north end of the building. So basically all of this, the northern, really kind of two thirds of the building here will be brewing facility. Um, giant walk-in cooler back behind that space there. Brew house over here on the end up towards this wall. Um, tanks lined up all the way from there to about where I'm at right now. And then uh, storage space along that wall. All 
right, so when you come in through the patio, this will be the tap room. Bobby's standing right there. That's basically the middle of the tap room. Tap handles up against the wall or towards the wall, actually about where those materials are. I'll have Bobby stand basically where she'll be bartending from is right in there. So you'll, the bar seats will be sitting out roughly in this area right there. Uh, and then all of this will be tap room seating space. And then where Bobby's going, there will be a downstairs private room area right in there. And then above her, where you see this uh, line right here, up there on the other side of that, between, between those two spaces here, will be an upstairs mezzanine area um, where you can sit and have beer or um, it's even a you know you can have private events or whatever so um, and then like I said downstairs private area here and then a hallway in the back to the side of the bar that goes to the restrooms and then out to the brewing area so basically tap room space will be all of this area right here will be tap room space. And then like I said, going out to the patio there. So down here in this corner where the brew house will go, we have this space in back, back here. Um, basically this, most of this space here will be a walk-in cooler for our cool storage. Um, in this wall here, right in there is where we'll have our loading and unloading overhead door. And then we'll be punching a hole in this wall to where that when we unload and unload, it can come out into the brewing space there. So, uh, and then bar staff or whoever needs to get cold kegs out of that cold storage to take to the tap room cooler can have a straight shot when they come out here, straight to the tap room, so. Out here we have the railroad track and luckily we're in a quiet zone so um, they can't they can't really honk the horns going through here so seemed a little loud earlier but that's because the building's not closed off over here this entire wall will be glass and a door over in here to be the main entry and then of course Pretty good view of downtown. Our neighbors across the street at Central Exchange. We've got the parlor over here, office space, and of course our friends at Iote Coffee are downstairs in that building right there.